Start that over. Take three. <laughs> take, <sighs> take four. <laughs> okay. Fourth take, final take. It's gonna be great. As long as Henry doesn't eat bread during it. So my original plan for today um, was to go outside, fire up the grill and recreate one of my favorite dishes from deep in my Instagram archive this whole grilled snapper um, with a chimichurri sauce and lots of fun grilled accompaniments. Um, but it's hot and I couldn't find a whole fish. So we're gonna pivot. Uh, I have a big filet of snapper that we're gonna cook inside on a pan instead and some fresh homemade corn tortillas to go with them that are hands down the best, 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 best thing. Okay, so. That being said, let's talk about our meats. Here I have this really gorgeous snapper filet. It's about a pound. Okay, so going on top of the fish is going to be sort of a lazy herb salsa. Um, I've got some parsley on the verge here, a Fresno chili, um, some fresh limes, and some red wine vinegar. I'm gonna turn this into kind of an olive oil based not quite chimichurri, but ish. Radishes are gonna get sliced up really thin along with the jalapeno. Those will stay raw and hang out on the side. And then I've got one red onion here. And then lastly, and I'd argue most importantly, is I have fresh masa. If you can get your hands on fresh masa, definitely do. It's really, really worth it. Um, if you can't, you can absolutely do the same thing with an instant um, corn harina, like a, like a maseca. And there's a video that I'll stick over here um, of Patty Hinnich um, making some corn tortillas using that. I'm going to get started on this herb salsa. You can find recipes like this like all over the place that are all really wonderful and great, mostly because they just consist of like herbs and fat and that's freaking delicious. Um, but the basics are you've got chopped herbs, you've got some acidity. I am going to use a red Fresno chili, bring it a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. So I'm gonna start chopping up this parsley. I'm gonna dice up this chili, um, get that into a bowl. Um, then I'll top it with a little bit of red wine vinegar and a lot of olive oil, salt it to taste, and let's call it done. <music> Allison doesn't love spice, so tend to tone it down or make it optional wherever I can. Um, so what I like to do is just cut into it and give it a sniff. You can kind of tell, you can even just taste it to get a sense of exactly how hot it is. Um, this one seems pretty mild to me. I'm still going to take out the seeds and the veins because that's where a lot of the heat lives to keep this sauce as mild as I can. And then when I want my taco to be really spicy, I'm just gonna put this raw jalapeno that I'm gonna slice on top of it. My bee camera woman is chasing dog outside. <clears throat> I think that Having a little bit of zest in this herb salsa will be really nice as well. Okay. Mm, that's nice. That's bright was kind of grassy with all the herbs and the olive oil going on. Uh, I ended up going with half of that chili because it looked like enough. Um, and even when I get a big chunk of it, I don't get any like heat heat, just like kind of a fruity, peppery type of quality, which is what I was hoping that would bring. So I feel good about this. The salsa verde is good to go. 
I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up all of our little accompaniments that are going to go like on top of the taco um, so that those are ready to go. For serving this, I like to just take like a big dramatic platter and just sort of begin arranging them kind of to the outsides of this thing so the fish can lay in the middle and be dramatic and beautiful. <laughs> attention to our masa. This shit's amazing. It's basically an exfoliated ground corn um, and it takes on this very tacky kind of putty quality that is super formable and super delightful like like play-doh. Um, clearly I have gotten into this stash and made a ton of breakfast tacos with this stuff and it's fantastic. Also afternoon tacos, um, random snack tacos, uh, any excuse to make corn tortillas this week, I've done it. This was made by uh, a really wonderful restaurant here in Austin called Suerte. These are like three bite tacos or two bite tacos if you don't have a weirdly small mouth. Keeping them small and keeping them on the thicker side is part of what makes them so special. So that being said, I'm going to, instead of what you might imagine, where for dinner maybe I'll eat two tacos, I'll eat like a baker's dozen of these. So I'm going to start kind of forming them into balls. If it does stick to your hands, you can have like a bowl of water. This is so fresh that I really haven't had a problem with it. Um, but what I'm going to do is just kind of take like a ping pong ball size. It molds back to itself really quickly. Um, so if you need to take some away or you need to grab a pinch and incorporate it back in, you can do that really easily. <laughs> I'm gonna press them and get them on my cast iron. So I've got a cast iron pan over here. If you've got a griddle or a kamal, highly encourage you to use that. That way you can do more at once. For this purpose, I am using a tortilla press. This is not in the least bit required. If you want to roll them out, you can absolutely do that. For the sticking, the absolute best way that I have found to manage that is to take a Ziploc bag and cut it on three sides so that it opens like a book. And then just set that inside your press. It's perfect. It's tough enough that you can peel it, it doesn't stick to itself like saran wrap. It's excellent. Um, so we're gonna take one of those little dough balls that we've portioned and set it in the middle. The handle then acts as leverage to press. It's very easy to overpress and get it too thin to come off the plastic wrap. I like to take it really slow, bring it down, and the instant the dough starts to resist you, just respect it. <laughs> they're perfect and they're thick, so you have a lot of body and a lot of stretch. Um, and if you haven't overpressed it, then you should be able to just pull back on that top layer, put it on top of your hand, pull back the other side, and there you have a perfect little tortilla baby. So once we have the corn tortilla in the pan, what we're looking for is for the edges to sort of raise up a little bit. Once that happens, we'll give it a flip, press into it, and get it to sort of inflate. And once your tortilla has inflated, you know it's cooked through. It'll be brown on both sides by then, and then you're good to go. So tortillas are done, everything else is ready. Literally all that needs to happen is the slicing of an avocado and then cooking up this fish. So what I'm gonna do now is slather this 
in some neutral oil, salt and pepper. Um, and in the same cast iron where I just finished my tortillas, I'm gonna set it skin side down and let it get crispy as hell. Then we'll just flip it, let it finish on the other side really quickly. And then we're gonna put it on this gorgeous platter and eat like 18,000 tacos. this wild that's a hot ass pan i'm a little bit afraid that it's seized up like this in the middle didn't get enough pan contact but the only way we're gonna know is to flip it whoa who is she you know, I guess that's one argument for cutting it into smaller fillets. I think it's still gonna be super delicious. And I'm still very excited about it. Mm. So now I can see on the sides, there's no more pink. It's all opaque. Um, it looks very well cooked through. So I'm gonna pull it out of the pan, set it in our platter, and just kind of let it rest there for a little bit while I slice the avocado and get everything else ready. I just tasted this salsa verde again, and it's only gotten better. It's really wonderful. I'm gonna spoon a little bit of it on top of the fish and keep most of it on the side, plate up the rest of this, and take it to the table. So there you have an elaborate platter, a gorgeous grilled snapper, all the taco fixings, and fresh corn tortillas. Very excited. Ooh, we have hit the top of the TL. Like I said, this is a two, three bite taco. so much going on in a really great way. Amazing corn flavor from the, from the tortilla. Fish is perfect. Sauce is so good with it. That spicy, fresh, raw jalapeno, the crunch from the radish, tapatio to finish. This is summer in a tortilla.